Hello everybody and welcome to this week's House of Bread video log. Well, Morning. Morning. Do, 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 do. House of Bread video log. <laughs> Good yes. to see you this morning, William Morris as ever, and just some random who's outside, he looked a bit lonely and there's some warmth coming off the lights, so we thought we'd invite him in. Uh, no, actually, we've got David, yeah, who crazy. is back on work experience, he's already been on work experience with us once, and you've come back to join us, so thank you so much for that, it's You're really welcome. nice to see that support yeah. being followed through. Mm. Um, so, so what are you up to, you're from Stafford College? Yep, I'm doing Health and Social Care Level 3. Then hopefully after I finish college, going into work. Good. Well, I hope so. And we're really excited because we work quite closely with Stafford College, mm. and um, to have David back, uh, obviously he enjoyed his first experience last year. But it's, it's giving David some real practical social care interaction over quite a busy Good. week. We've got a quite a busy week coming up. So Good. yeah, we've got um, we've got some students actually. Two girls, forgive me, I think uh, I've forgotten their names, but I will remember them next week. And they're coming on Fridays for the next five Fridays to do some work around Bread Church. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually have three students on Friday. So are they girls you know? Them. I have no idea who they are. No. <laughs> well, they're lovely. <laughs> so you, do you enjoy this kind of uh, work? I do, yeah. I mean, did you choose to come back to House of Bread? Or were I, actually, the only ones that I did, have did you? choose back. I, I did send out several of a request, but I got no response. But then Except I sent us. one here, <laughs> and then I get a response straight away. There you go. Oh, good. That's you lovely. See? Well, it's great to have you. Yeah. We can do with all the help we can get, yeah. can't we? No, it's, it's going to be good, because um, David will, will give us that sort of um, maybe younger perspective on what mm. we do. And so feedback is all exciting. It reminds me, the, um, the sofa's looking a little bit empty. I it know is. Lisa had a, had a holiday, Yeah. but uh, I thought she was back. Where oh, is Lisa? I don't know. Where's Lisa? Where is Lisa? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Lisa. Fantastic. There's me worried. Oh, no. We've got her oh, working no, hard working already, already haven't we? Morning, mate. Just back. Yeah. yeah. Great to have you back. First Thank thing you. we have you doing is cowering behind a sofa. Yeah. <laughs> Give it the secret away now. Contorted position. <laughs> Uh, oh no, it was, you weren't carrying behind a sofa, it was magic. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was magic, yes. Yeah. Right, okay. Yes, it was. So Friday for the next few weeks, more students on work experience supporting yes. Bread Church. Lisa, oh, Bread Church at Sanctus. Yes, oh. um, we had a, a fantastic uh, trip. Thank you, Vanessa and Reverend Sally. We went up to St Mark's in Shelton. Mm. Um, it's a charity called Open Door, which supports asylum seekers. Uh, and we showed them how to make traditional mm. English white bread, the two loaves, one mm. to keep, one to give away. Mm. And we had probably 15 to 20 folk. It's very random and timing is very much based on African time. So it's quite loose in terms of the, the format. Like Morris time, but it was a bit like Morris time, yeah, actually. Yes, it, it could work quite we well had, for you. Will. We had um, <laughs> we had we had Libyans, we had Syrians, we had uh, Malawi, we had Malaysia, we had um, mm. Maui. It was incredible. It didn't all begin with W, but uh, M, I should say. But it was just fantastic, and they all made bread together. And we had three lovely little young uh, kids that came in right at the end who had a very, very difficult time. Mum was just about to be um, going back home on a plane and mm. leaving them behind. It was a horrible situation. Mm. Um, and I know we took some pictures, so I'm hoping Jack's going to be able to slot some pictures in. Is this round about now? So any minute now. Great. Fantastic. And the good news is we're back this Wednesday, so Dave's yep. going to come. Oh dear, I'm having it again. Dave's going to come along a bit. I have yeah. a feeling you might be sort of. Off Dave's going to come with us this week, camera. and this week we're going to embrace the scone. So oh. we're going to take scone to Shelton. The What's the fastest cake, cake in the world? The world? Oh. Scone. 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 Straight in there. He's a comedian oh as well no, as Joe. That makes sense. So we're very <laughs> excited, and, and thank <laughs> you, Sally. I know she's away on holiday, Sally. So oh. enjoy that. Um, but Vanessa, thank you for inviting us back. It, it is a really, really exciting um, piece of work for us. Mm. 
hugely challenging, but we, we just love it, and, and I just thank them for this, this invite. It's, it's great fun. Well, yeah. do come along to that, because House of Bread have some very interesting scone recipes. We do. Which I was intrigued and a, a little <laughs> bit disgusted by, but yeah, the no. end results were remarkably delicious. Fantastic. Exquisite, delicious. Yes. Yours, sir. All of that. Okay, so <laughs> thank you, BBC Radio Stoke. Mm, yes, the, now... Uh, Perry Spiller Morning Show. Yeah, I was on the Perry Spiller Morning Show. We are uh, in the presence of greatness, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And uh, if you listened, you can listen again, I think, or maybe it's gone, I don't know, but it was certainly last week and it was on the listen again capacity. Mm. And the reason that we were phoned was because Perry had been stopped on the way to his studio by a guy who appeared to be homeless and was asking for money. Mm. And Perry wasn't quite sure what to do. And so one of the researchers phoned House of Bread and said, what, what would you do? What are the things that you should do? Interesting. Uh, which was great. And it's nice to represent an authoritative uh, response to that. And so um, sitting in my car outside uh, Stafford Station, um, they phoned me and I was able to give them four things that practically anybody who's uh, watching this can actually do in a safe way for them and in a safe way for the, for the person that you're dealing with. Can you summarise um, that now? I can summarise it in four things. Well, the first is, points. if somebody stops you for money, don't give them any money. Um, and the reason I say that is because that f money could go to buy alcohol, drugs, mm. it, it could be the thing that actually does them no good whatsoever. So the alternative is number two, go and buy a coffee and a, or a sandwich or both and take that over. Mm. Um, the second thing is, and again, this is where perhaps people who are viewing this could be invest a little bit of time, is find out where your local CAB or housing options um, department is. So if, for example, if you're watching this and you're in Stoke, find out where housing options are in Stoke-on-Trent. If you're in Stafford, find out where housing options are. I can tell you it's, it's on the, the Riverside offices. It's the Borough Council. Um, the Borough Council offices, really nice folk. Find out where CAB is. If you're in Stafford, it's at 17 Eastgate Street and they will help. They have a whole team there to help. Mm. Uh, thirdly, uh, find out where your local house of bread is. Clearly, if you're in Stafford, we're here, you can contact us. But wherever you are in the United Kingdom, there will be people who have a similar operation. Yeah. So invest yeah. a bit of time, do a bit of research. So when you go past somebody, rather than feeling guilty and, and, and confused about things, mm. you can respond by taking some time out. Mm. Um, buy that coffee, buy that sandwich, do mm. not give money. Um, find out where your local house of bread is, if it's, if, obviously if it's Stafford. Um, and, and just invest a bit of time in it, and then you won't feel bad. And that's safe for you to do, and it's also wise mm. for the person who, who may be asking for some guidance and advice. And we all, we've all been there, it's that awkward moment. Mm. It's the same with the big issue seller, mm. you know? Maybe you haven't got three, three pounds fifty, I think, the cover price. Um, but don't walk by, go and give that person, you know, shake their hand and say, look, I'm really sorry, I haven't got the money. Well, maybe do what I do. I'll give the lady a hug in Stafford, if you're watching. Uh, I just give her a hug. Sometimes I have 350s, sometimes I don't. Uh, but either way, I don't walk by on the other side. I'm having to bite my tongue here for all the terrible jokes that I could be <laughs> telling during this show. I'm really having to be politically correct. Right. So that was my, <laughs> yeah, that was BBC Radio State. So thank you for all of that contact. Lovely. We well, that's good that. advice. Thank you yeah. for that, Will. Um, charity dinner tickets. Any uh, left? Yes, there are a few left. Um, we sold a couple more tables yesterday, or last Good. week I should say. So um, yep. we're all very excited. We're all getting our ball gowns out. Right. So yeah, if you want tickets, contact us pronto pronto. Pronto pronto. So why should people I'm want wearing, tickets? I'm wearing well, a Because it, it's going to be a fantastic uh, party. Is it though? Is it? Tell it it is. It is. It's got a live band. It's live got band? Raffles, raffles. It's got auctions. auctions. Uh, opportunity to leave. If you buy a table yes. of 10, you yeah. could be that, you know, that the host of that table, of ta yeah. head of the evening, yeah, and karaoke. For the sprinkly sum of £25, which is very, very reasonable for what you're going to get, mm. Um, mm. you're making a contribution towards the funding that goes to make all of what we've been talking about yeah. happen. Yep. Yeah. So it's a good opportunity, it's a lot of fun, there'll be some quite interesting people there, including ourselves. Um, Okay, this, so is yeah. a, this is a long one this week, so I'm going to just push it along. Yeah, Fundraise sorry. Fundraising team and events this yeah, year. Yeah, we had a fantastic meeting while, while Lisa was sunbathing in uh, Marbella. <coughs> um, we had a meeting in the, <laughs> in the Swan Hotel. I Thank you, Chris I can Lewis. see the tan. And I met with some guys and girls, and we have formed a fundraising team. Brilliant. It's fantastic, and yes. we're going to be working together. They're a really, really interesting group of people. So how many people turned up uh, to throw a coffee I've in got, the end? Uh, Well, I met two people on Thursday and three people on mm. Tuesday. So to collectively, we've got a really interesting group of people, very, very diverse experiences and work, but Excellent. they've all got one passion, that is to 
help us fundraise Good for the House news. of Bay. But Good having news. said that, that's not a closed group. If no. you're out there listening, I'd be quite interested in that. Contact us through the usual ways. Well, I think the more the merrier, yeah. because there's not really a limit that we've, no, that we've no. reached as to what work needs to be done. There's plenty more room for yep. growth and development. So the more fundra the bigger fundraising teams we have, the more we're going to be able to do. So, exactly. Yeah. You know, if you've got contacts or if you've got sales skills or you're just good at a good people person and you're interested in getting out there and yeah. drawing contact in a bit of interest, now. contact us now. Great news. Um, prayer support. Yes, this week we'll see the first email going out to a small group of people. I think we've got 20 in the prayer group at the moment. But again, if you're, you're uh, watching this and that's something that um, you would like to be involved with, then let us know, contact us. And the email that will go out, and Jeanne's going to do that this week, highlights seven people that we want specific support for. Yeah. Uh, and these are folk who are going through particularly difficult times um, across a whole range of issues, whether it might be homelessness or just vulnerability or loneliness, whatever it is. Mm. Um, and we hope that we're going to build on that prayer support group. And at the end of each week, Lisa and I will make a list of those folk um, who need particular support from us. And then Jan will con um, construct an email It'll go out, and what we're asking people when they get that email is just to spend the time, when they pray during the day or whatever yeah. time it is, just sit there and think about these particular names. There are, mm. there are many more, but these are the people who need particular focus, okay. particular uh, prayer support at, at this moment in time. I mean, I love that idea of focused and specific prayer. I think um, a lot of the time when we do pray, we're sort of very general and a bit vague, praying for blessings and yeah, praying for this, help. This is going to be very specific. Focused and it's specific a name and, and it's purposeful a, it's a, prayer. Yeah, it's th these people need strength for particular mm, issues. Mm. Um, so we're, we're excited about that because it's something that's worked very successfully with street pastors. Mm, we have a prayer mm. support list of 40, 45 to 50 people mm. every week. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So this is the start of it, and uh, we're very excited. So, thank so you. just get in, touch with, get in touch through um, through Facebook or the website, and you yep. can put it on the mailing list, and you'll receive updates of very specific things that yep. we need prayer support for. You know, prayer ministry might just be your thing. You might not even know, or you might be a member of the prayer team at your church. Get yeah. involved. Very Definitely. much appreciated. Power of prayer. Yes. <laughs> Does stuff. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. Sorry if that was a bit too Christian. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> uh, another exciting week ahead. Yes, don't forget your Asda green discs. If you're yep. going to shop in Asda, other supermarkets are available, but maybe just this week, mm. collect the tokens, mm. pop them in the box, because uh, they will make a contribution, Asda. Oh, yes, you've got to ask for the tokens. It's no good going up to the cash desk and doing your purchase. So thank you very much and going. Mm. This is Morris. You've got to <laughs> ask for your oh. green tokens. And don't forget Joe's little hit, hit, tip. tip. Just ask, ask for, for a an extra, more. extra one. Mm. So, yeah. Can I just have a few more of those, please? Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. I've got four here now. I'm going to give them to David. And they sell so those you. grabby claws, those extendable grabby claws at the pound store. So you, you can, can get into somebody else's into box. <laughs> cafe oh, now. no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. 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 Enough already. Cut. Yeah, we've got a very exciting. Hmm. Week ahead. We love Catherine House. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine House is Good great. Good to see Lisa back. Yes, lovely to see Lisa yeah. back. Thank, Thank you. you for coming along, David. David. So yeah, wasn't, David. It wasn't that bad, was it? Hey. No, it wasn't yeah. that bad. Well, thanks again, yeah. Will. Hey. Well, we've been talking quite a lot about homelessness, um, which is obviously quite a, a fundamental issue to House of Bread as well as feeding people. Reminds me of a story that I heard uh, just this week, or parable of modern life, as Indeed. I like to call them. There was. Uh, a knock on the door of the vicarage and um, a very, very flustered man was uh, found on the doorstep by the vicar. And he'd come along and he said, that I've, uh, Vicar, I've, I've heard that your wife is a very giving person. And, and he just began to break down. He just, you know, his, his eyes started welling up and he started shaking and he said, there's a, there's a family. There's a family in the village and, and they're, in, they're in desperate need. The father's just passed away and the mother's terribly sick and she can't. She can't get out to walk to work. It's a familiar situation. Is, and, yeah. You know, the, the kids are, are hungry and they're getting behind in their rent, and it looks like they're just about to be kicked out on the streets. You know, this, is, is there anything you can do to help? And the guy was just shaking and really upset for them. And she's, he called his wife down and she said, "Yes, oh gosh, that's dreadful. Do you mind if I ask who you are and how you know the family?" And he said, "Yeah, I'm the landlord." <laughs> 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 With an apology, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Please, it is, it's on oh. the iPad. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to think of something incredibly funny to say to start off. Oh, right. Well, you we totally <laughs> contrived, which you can use as a, an outtake at the end. It's I don't know. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll use that. I'll use that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs>